looking at permutations and combinations formulas, and so we have three cats, cat A, B, and C. We could actually give them names like Alfred and Buffy and Carl, but I'm just going to call them A, B, and C because I'm lazy. So if I have three cats, A, B, and C, and I'm going to choose two cats, so I'm I'm just gonna take them home. I'm not gonna do anything fancy with them, like anything different between the two of them. So the way I have them, um, I can choose these two, or these two, or I can choose these two. So there's my different options. Now suppose I say I want to choose one cat to come home with me and one cat to go to my niece's house. So I can choose these two, but I can choose this one to go home and this one go to my niece's house or switch. So I have this same one, AB, in two spots. And then I do AC can be in either like this or like this. And then BC can come in here and be home with me to my niece or to my niece and home with me. So this is why this combination and this permutation have just slightly different formulas. So the formula for combination is, now we can either write it like, uh, actually we can write it a number of different ways. So there's um, out of combination of n take r, we can also write combination of n take r like this, and then some places write like this. So all these three mean the same thing, and the formula is n factorial over n minus r factorial, and then you have an r factorial here. And this is slightly different from permutation. These are little subscripts here letters aren't quite big enough to see that, which is n factorial over n minus r factorial without the r. So this is the, this is the difference between them. And if you'll notice, when you do a combination here, this is the permutation, combination, you divide out a few that you don't divide out here. So in this case, I have only three, and here I have six. So here I'm dividing out by two, and we'll do this calculation in another video. If, say, we have four cats, which it's cold right now where I am, so I'm thinking forecast. I mean, this is four cats. So I have four cats. If I want to choose three cats, then I have the possibility of, for combinations, A, B, C, right, those three. I could do A, B, D. Markers running out. I could do A, C, D. Or I could do B, C, D. I only have four. If instead I have a permutation, notice I could do ABC, I could do ACB, I could do CAB or CBA or BCA or BAC. I probably didn't do all the bits that I needed to do. So I've written them out, just like I wrote out the other ones, here. So my goodness. So all of these bits are the pieces of the permutation, whereas these are the piece, the only things for the combination. And see how if I divide out, in this case, there's 24 here, this formula will be divided by another six, and this formula will not have that division. So there's this missing piece. The next video I'll show you in numbers how that works.